Let's select another patient from the library of Mr. Timothy T simulator. It's going to be a patient with a mitral uh, valve prosthesis. Let's see how the valve works. I am now in the upper esophageal views, uh, looking at the aorta and pulmonary artery, which is dilated. And then I go deeper. Uh, I can see now the ostia of the coronary vessels, the aortic valve. And now I am on the level of the mitral valve. So here is the um, four chamber view. I'll do slight uh, retroflex just to make sure that the left ventricle cavity is the longest possible and I position the valve in the center of the screen and now I will uh, rotate the plane from 0 to uh, 90 and then uh, more degrees to see if the motion of the, of the discs uh, is okay. And I think it is. Now I activate the color and uh, we can see that uh, there is a slightly turbulent flow in the um, mitral prosthesis and as I rotate we can see that there is some leak. The leak is at uh, 64 degrees. When I increase the angle it disappears and it doesn't appear on the other side. But here we can see the little jets uh, in the center, so I will just decrease the uh, depth to see it better. You see this, these little jets which are completely normal for the, for the prosthetic valve. Here they are. And then uh, when I turn more, you can see again little jets which are completely normal. And I come back to see where this paravalvular leak was located. And I can see it's located in the 64 degrees view. So let's have a look how it looks like in the 3D imaging. So here I put my region of interest uh, at the level of the mitral valve. And I activate the 3D and here is the color 3D mode showing you where the um, PVL is located. I can zoom it in and activate color again and here you see the leak which is not really big just a tiny leak near the left atrial appendage which can be seen on the left hand side this is typical location where the leak can occur because the surgeon is afraid of um, suturing deeply in the tissues because there's circumflex artery behind the left atrial appendage and uh, it can can be uh, sutured during the surgery, so uh, sometimes those sutures may tear out and create a little leak.